my friends. It has been a long time. I hope you are all very, very well. Today's video is going to be a little get ready with me. I'm using some of my current kind of favorite products. Um, and yeah, just kind of a life update. Um, something is definitely new with me. If you don't follow me on Instagram, um, I did do the old hair chop, um, but we'll get into details on that, I'm sure. So yeah, let's jump into this. Let's just start chatting it up guys. I am just going to pin my hair back here and I'm going to start off by putting some moisturizer on my skin. I have been obsessed with this new product from La Roche-Posay. It's called Tolerian Sensitive and it's just like a very simple basic moisturizer, but I have been especially loving it um, underneath makeup. I find that it sinks into the skin super quickly, but it really gives my skin this like boost of hydration that I need. I've been noticing I get these like dry patches especially in this area throughout the day and this has really been helping like as opposed to using like a tip of, like an actual primer um i've just been really into using a moisturizer it just feels so good but okay guys like what's new my friends what is new i have just there's a lot going on as per usual you know um for foundation, I'm going to take the Dermablend Flawless Creator Drops, another new product that I am just obsessed with. Um, I'm gonna shake them up here um, because the pigment kind of like separates, um, but I just have been really enjoying this because it's super lightweight, like it truly feels weightless on the skin, but it gives this nice kind of overall flawless appearance. Um, I don't have um, a sponge, BRB. All right, so what's also really cool about this product is you can, like I like to do, use it as an all over foundation. I'm just putting some on the back of my hand here, or you can mix it in with like a sunscreen, a moisturizer, a primer, like whatever, really, um, which is actually what I like to do on the weekends. I just take a couple drops in that moisturizer right there, and I find it just gives a nice kind of like blurring to the skin, but without being, you know, heavy or anything. It's a really, really cool product. Um, there's no oil or water in it, which is what makes it um, so easy to mix with other products. Um, this shade here, I know it looks kind of light for me, but there's so much redness in my skin right now that I'm actually trying to ma match my neck and my neck is very fair. Like I swear it's the lightest part of me, but I am just dotting this on. It feels like silk. On the skin it is just is this recording it's just lovely all right foundation is on and I'm looking pale but I look more pale in this little viewfinder thing like in real life it looks very nice and like matching but Anyways, I don't know what to tell you. I'm going to take some of the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. This is a super full coverage concealer, um, but I really, really enjoy it in the um, kind of hollows of my eyes. I put on a little bit less of this than I do of another of other concealers that I have, because I find you just need a tiny little bit and it goes a very long ways, but I've really also been enjoying this. I do find it's super, super long wearing, but yeah, okay. What shall we chat about, guys? Okay, first of all, let's chat about my hair. I had a nice little hair change happen. It was quite a while ago now, it was like a month ago, so it actually has even grown a little bit since I got it cut. Um, but, okay, let's, let's just get into a little bit of a story here. So I, when I was young, like when I was a teenager, I always had very long hair, like very long, like quite nice hair if i do say so myself like i had long 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 hair and then when i was like 19 years old um i broke up with someone or we broke up and i cut my hair i don't know why it was one of those moments of like oh look at this new me i'm gonna show him like very weird thing to do i don't recommend it um so basically i cut my hair and I cut it short, it was like shorter than this. It was almost like asymmetrical, like at that time, Victoria Beckham was like all the rage. Um, and I actually did like that haircut to be honest, but since then you guys, I swear to you, my hair never grew. Like it didn't grow again. 
basically. And I have spent the past nine years, I guess it is, um, trying to have long hair. And I would go to the hairdresser and I, like, and just say I want the tiniest bit taken off. I would say, I would call it a dusting. Like I just wanted a dusting of trim. But I feel like I have not had healthy hair in that long. Seriously, because I used to color my hair and make it light, then dark, and ugh, go like just change my hair color so often that I feel like my hair never really had the chance to recover. And I do have a very kind of like coarse, dry hair in the first place. Like, I swear, you guys, I don't think I've ever felt my hair be greasy. Like, my hair does not produce grease it's very weird i almost want it to like i like if i can feel like some oils starting i'm like that's got to be good but anyways um if i if i forget to mention anything i'll have everything listed down below because we're just we're just rolling with this tangent here so i basically have always wanted my hair to be longer and i did that through extensions for many many years so if you guys didn't see, I did post a recent kind of hair um, tutorial video right before I got my hair cut. So you can actually see in that video how long my actual hair was. And it's really not that long, to be honest. It wasn't that long. Um, because I, when I would film videos, you guys would basically always be seeing me with extensions in. Um, which, nothing wrong with extensions. I'm all about that extension life. Um, but I just, I don't know, I just wanted to give my hair a breather, give my scalp, like all that kind of stuff. So my hairstylist, Kaylee, who's one of my friends as well, she sent me a picture, like, I think it was like in January, of Lucy Hale and was like, you should totally get your hair cut like this. Like it was like, like this, a short little haircut. And she really inspired me. And I basically was like, yes, let's do it. Let's go for it. So she cut my hair, it was like a month ago now, and I love it, you guys. Like I really do feel like a new woman with this haircut. And I swear it is the first time in many, many years that my hair has been healthy. Like that I feel like it is not in this constant state of like repair, I guess. Another thing that is nice that I'm enjoying personally is this is I think as close to my natural hair color as I've had it in a very long time like I can see ever so slightly some like root growage happening um but it really does blend almost like seamlessly like you can't see it which I really enjoy because like I said I've had my hair so many different colors and colored it so often that it's almost like that natural color has gotten kind of lost so I have been really liking it just seeing myself in its like natural state kind of thing um or you know natural looking because there is color on it um I do think for the summertime I am gonna get some like lighter pieces put in it because that's just me guys. Like I feel like I, that's just what I like. I like a little bit of dimension, you know? So yeah, so that's basically where we're at with my hair. If you're considering getting your hair chopped, doing the old chop, I'd recommend it. Like why not guys? It's just for fun. And I, I mean, I get it. If you have like beautiful Rapunzel like hair, you maybe feel differently. But for me personally, I'm so glad I did it. And if you are in Calgary and you need a really awesome hairstylist, um, I'd recommend my friend Kaylee. She is really amazing. She's at um, Salon Jolie in Auburn Bay, like in the south of Calgary. And um, she's wonderful. She's the one who not only like had the idea for this, but like did it all. Like, so I feel like that's a really good hairstylist, you know, if they can like, have a vision, but yeah. So that's that's the long story about my hair. I took the little clips out, they kept falling. It was annoying me. Um, I'm gonna be using, I did my eyebrows by the way. I used the little L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer, ran out of it in the process. So if this one's looking kind of wonky, I ran out guys, okay. I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay Back Talk Palette. I got this like a couple weeks ago now and I've been using it a ton. Um, it's a very cool palette. I'm gonna give you just a quick little rundown. You have, I can actually remove the mirror, which is so cool. I think it's a very interesting concept and then it just kind of like magnetizes back in there, but you can remove it. 
So basically there are um, four blush slash highlighter shades and then eight eyeshadows. And they're all this kind of like warm, mauvey, mauvey tone. And I've actually seen a lot of kind of like mixed reviews on this. Like even on the Sephora website, it doesn't have a great rating. Like I think some people are not too pleased with it. Um, I'm gonna actually use this shade Back Talk right here in my crease it's like this nice pink shade but yeah I don't think a lot of people love this palette which I will tell you that I actually really like it I feel like for me I love pink tones as you guys know so I've been getting a ton of use out of it it's not my absolute favorite palette that I've used but I think since it has all of basically like two highlighters two blushes and then a lot of eyeshadows like this is great for travel it's I don't know I like it the one thing I will say is that it's very warm. It is more warm than I was expecting it to be. Like I was hoping um, for more of like those cool toned mauve shades, but I think that's just a preference thing because I know a lot of people out there and I'd, I'd say I'd venture to say the majority of people prefer warm toned eyeshadows. So I'm sure they were catering to that, but I don't know, I like it you guys. Like. I feel like since I saw all of this kind of like negativity surrounding this palette that I was expecting to not really like it, but that's not the case. I feel like when I use it, I'm like, huh, I really do enjoy that. Um, and this Back Talk shade, this is what the palette of course was based around, is really nice. Like using that as a nice little transition is just what I'm all about. Um, and then I like to use a bit of like a smaller blending brush to go into the WTF shade and keep that kind of on my lid area into the crease a little bit as well. And I think it just is pretty and flattering and all that kind of stuff. Um, I really do like the, oopsie, these three shades right here, um, Double Take, Low Key, and Party Foul. Um, I've been using those a ton. This Cheap Shot one, I don't love. It's more of like um, a mauve fuchsia color-ish to be putting on your cheeks, but I've used it on my eyes and I like it, but on my cheeks, it's just, it's not for me. Um, I, I will actually, let's do, I'm gonna do my blush quickly. So I kind of like did my bronzer, did, you know, just all over the place. So I am gonna take double take this shade right here. It's so weird. I'm so used to like maneuvering things so that the mirror doesn't blind you guys, but it's kind of enjoyable. You don't have to do that with this one. Um, so I'm going to take a double take this kind of nice mauve shade and put that onto my cheeks. And you will see it gives this nice little flush and it's just kind of like a natural cheek color, which I love, I love. And then as a highlighter, I have really, really been enjoying this low key shade. It's the perfect kind of like peachy, more of like a blush topper. It's not, you know, super blinding as far as a highlight, but that's not really what I'm into guys. I like just kind of a nice radiance, which I find this is perfect for that. And I have used Party Foul, that's this shade right here on my cheeks as well, but I've actually been using that more so as like an eyeshadow which is actually really nice when you have this palette sitting on your counter or whatever, like it's all just, oh, I digged my, digged. I dug my finger. We've had a little, we've had a, a mishap, my friends. But yeah, when it's sitting on your um, desk or wherever in your bathroom where you do your makeup, it's really nice because all the shades are just right there. Um, and cause this mirror comes out really easily. Now I will say, don't like, don't try and use the mirror when it's in the actual palette. Cause I was getting really annoyed at first because it kind of falls out and it's just, I don't know. It's, I think a tip, take it out. But what's awesome about it is I was using this the other day to do a winged eyeliner and I could get like this close to my face. So I don't know. I think I, I like the innovation. I think it's cool to do something different. Um, I also, I don't know why this is turning into just this massive review, but I will show you guys some swatches. This shade right here called Bear is really, really beautiful because it is like this light shimmery shade. And in the palette here, it doesn't really look like too much. Like it just kind of looks like 
a basic sort of, you know, beigey type of shade, but it actually does give off a lot of pink. Like this is that shade right here. There's a lot of pink in there. It's very pretty. Curve actually has some intense kind of like glitter action happening in it, which is not, I don't mind that. Like I don't think glitter is the devil. I think there's kind of a time and place for it. Um, Attitude is probably the most beautiful. Um, shade in here in my opinion. It's this kind of like pinky warm one and then this purpley one called shade is also pretty um, And then 180 over here is this deep brown shimmery shade um, It's nice, but I honestly wish if I could change something about this palette I would make 180 a matte shade because I think I would just get more use out of it But yeah overall I like this palette guys I do and I feel like there's a lot of people that don't but I'm not judging them. I'm just like, why? It's good. But I am gonna take this shade called Bear right there, and I'm just gonna use my finger and put some of that on my lid, more so in the inner area. But what else, guys? So yeah, I haven't posted a video in like a month, probably. Three weeks, maybe. But yeah, and a lot of you guys, like I've said before, you guys are the nicest people in the world, and you, like, there's a lot of things happening. Um, you guys are so nice and you always are like, oh, like, are you okay? Is everything happening? Yes, I am totally okay. It is a really busy time of year for my work. Like, we just have a lot of things going on. Um, I was out of town in Saskatchewan in February and then I was gone for two weekends in a row. Um, oh, I got bronchitis again. Like, what the heck, you guys? I've had bronchitis twice now this year, which really sucks. Like. How's this doing, by the way? My goodness. Oh. <gasps> this has really screwed things up, my friends. Wow. I feel like I'm like really slouching. Like I need to sit up. I almost need to put some on this side, balance it out. This is just fabulous. Okay, so we're just fixing this little mishap. It's no big deal, guys. Just a little brown shadow above the brow. Now we need a little more bronzer. You know, this is just what I do, guys. Okay, so, so yeah, as I was saying, um, yeah, I was just, I had bronchitis, um, just been busy with work, and I'm just gonna be honest, guys. I know you hear it from tons of YouTubers, YouTube people, so I don't wanna sit here like complaining because even when I hear other YouTubers complaining, I'm like, oh, come on, which, and I make videos, so like I understand their pain, but even for me, I end up being like, okay, like, like whatever. But like the way that YouTube is with how it doesn't upload videos properly um, and how things don't show up in subscription boxes, really makes it, I'm just gonna be honest guys, hard to make it a priority because it feels like you spend all this time filming and editing and you're excited for your subscribers to see this video and then nobody sees it. And then I get messages from people being like, hey, um, I am no longer subscribed to you. I didn't click that. Like, I don't know what happened. I, I've missed your videos or you post something and one of your videos gets lots of views and then the next one gets none. Like, it's just very inconsistent, I guess. Um, and for me, like, as you guys know, since I have a separate job and this is something I do for fun, it makes it kind of tough to be like, oh, like I'm gonna dedicate the time for that when I end up feeling disappointed. Cause I don't really care about like the views or the money. Like it's not about that, but it's just disappointing to feel like you spend time doing something and it's not, I don't know. It just ends up being like, oh, like that was a waste, you know? I don't know, I feel very complainy right now. I'll just be quiet, but um, I'm gonna take 180, that brown shade, and just put it on the outer corner of my eye. But yeah, so I guess that, if I'm just being honest, that's another kind of like reason why I haven't really been motivated to be filming. But I will say that anytime I do take a little bit of a break, which I do occasionally, as you guys might know, um, I always come back feeling more excited and motivated and I have some good video ideas and I am gonna get back into it. I don't have a ton of um, like work is going to, eh, work's always crazy, you know, but I'll have time. Something else really exciting though, 
Brooks and I booked a trip to Europe and I cannot wait. We leave next month um, and we're going for, it's just under three weeks to Ireland, Germany, and Austria. So I'm so excited. Um, we're gonna be in Ireland for like a full week, Germany for, in Munich for like four days, then we're gonna go to Salzburg for a few days. I just can't wait. If you guys have been to those places, like anywhere in Ireland, cause we're basically going across the whole country. And then also any recommendations, cause like Europe is also close, but any recommendations you have, please let me know because we don't know. We don't know what to do and I wanna hear your opinions and yeah. So I um, don't think I'm going to vlog it. Like I don't think that is something that I want to focus my time on just being honest um, but I'll for sure be posting on Instagram and doing Instagram stories and all that kind of stuff so if you do want to kind of follow along make sure you're following me um, on Instagram um, at Kelsey Kristen and yeah that's next month like it's coming up so soon so I am just going to give these eyes a little blend here that's looking a little a little harsh like, why is there makeup all over me? Like, my goodness. And then I'm just gonna highlight my inner corner using Party Fowl from the palette. I just, I think another reason why I love this palette and why I'm enjoying it is because I just love palettes that are like multifunctional. Like, I use this to do my whole face, basically. And I, I'm down for that, my friends. And I really like this shade as an inner corner. It's super brightening. Um, what else did I want to chat about? Ooh, I'm gonna first put on mascara and we'll chat as I do that. All right, so I often get a lot of questions about my job, like what I do Monday to Friday kind of thing. And for those of you who don't know, I am employed by L'Oreal and I based, but not in PR, not like in the YouTube space, like nothing like that. Like it's like in the corporate world basically. And I get a lot of questions about what I do um, on a daily basis, what my job is, how I got my job. That's a big one. People want to know how I got my job. Um, and so I'm going to film a video about that because I'm happy to answer questions. Um, I know before I, um, was in my position. I had the exact same questions and so um, We're out of focus So I for sure want to film that video and I was going to invite you guys to leave any questions you might have like specifically um, In the comments of this video and I'll make sure I refer back to it when I'm filming that one um, And yeah, we can just like chat and you guys can ask whatever you'd like. I love this mascara recently, but like it's looking kind of weird right now as i'm sitting here i'm like maybe i should vlog our trip like not i don't have to be like you know every moment of every day but i'm just thinking it might be actually really nice to have like a little video diary of like what we did and look back on it and that kind of stuff so i don't know maybe i should do that if that's something like if you guys would watch that let me know because the moment I said that, I have now just been sitting here like, hmm, maybe I should because that would be nice. All right, mascara done. Ooh, also something new, guys. I got some more ear piercings. I have, I got two done on this side and then I've always had this one pierced, like the second one on this one, um, but I just never really wore an earring in it. So now I'm just like very cool is what I'm trying to tell you. It's actually the funniest thing. Like I'm a very weird lady. I was at the mall one day for work. Like I was there working. I walked by the Claire store because they had, it was right before St. Patrick's Day and they had all this St. Patrick's Day stuff. And I was like, ooh, like I should get some of that. So I went in to look at the St. Patrick's Day paraphernalia. And I was started talking to the, the worker lady in there. And I was like, how much is it for ear piercing? And we just started chatting. And next thing I knew I'm sitting in the chair getting my ear pierced. It was very random and also so funny. I got my ears pierced at Claire's, which I know you're not supposed to do that, but I did guys. And you know, it all went well. It all went well so far. I've been cleaning it following their instructions. And yeah, I 
got my ears pierced when I was like seven years old at Claire's. So just come in full circle, right guys? Um, I'm still obsessed with these lip products. I know I've talked about them a ton. This is the Color Reach um, Shine Lipstick. It's really a lip balm. Um, this is in the shade Glazed Pink. I really like this one because it's cool toned. And my lips are so dry. Everything is dry on me, everything. Um, and that's why I really like that product. And then I'm also taking this Lip Lover from Lancome. It's just like a lip gloss. This is in the shade 313. And it's just kind of a pale, nudie pink, as per usual. That's it, guys. That's it, that's all. There's kind of like mascara over here, but <laughs> that's, that's all right. We'll do a little zoomer. That's the wrong way. This is my face for today using the Urban Decay Back Talk Palette. Did you guys pick this up? Is it something you want to get? Um, I feel like it's a nice to have. It's not, oh, we're still zoomed in. It's one of those like nice to have products. It's not like a must have need it in your life type of thing, but I've really been liking it in general. So yeah. Um, that's kind of it guys for this little get ready with me life update. Um, my bracelet just came undone. <laughs> that's all. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. Thank you for liking and leaving comments and subscribing and all that stuff because it really does help me and I appreciate it. I'm grateful for every single one of you and yeah, I think that's all for today. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.